Chu Ying, SBS, also known by the nickname Black Ying, is a Hong Kong meteorologist, bird watcher, conservationist and blogger. He was the director of the Hong Kong Observatory 2003 through 2009. He is also an honorary fellow of the Royal Meteorological Society, an honorary university fellow of the University of Hong Kong as well as the honorary president of the Hong Kong Bird Watching Society. Microplanet 64288 Lam Kuying is named after Lam. Biography Early Life Lam was first interested in astronomy as a primary six student. In Form 2, he decided that he wanted to enter the Hong Kong Observatory while completing a stargazing Boy Scout badge, although he later believed that the chances were slim. He obtained an A in Physics in the Hong Kong Certificate of Education Examination, although the grade was not sustained in the A levels where he received an A for all other subjects he took up. He studied mathematics and physics at the University of Hong Kong. He received a Commonwealth scholarship and went to Imperial College London, where he studied meteorology instead of physics for the fear that physics would lead to wars. After a few months, he decided to go to the United States. The lecturer wrote him a letter of recommendation, saying that he was his best post-war student. However, he had only studied at Princeton University for three weeks before dropping out, saying that he wanted to get a job instead of studying theories. Lamb said in an interview by the Winway Po that his interest in bird watching started when he saw birds in the Hong Kong Cemetery at Happy Valley when he was around 20. Observatory Lam joined the observatory as a scientific officer on May 4, 1974. After being promoted to senior scientific officer in October 1980, he went on to become the assistant director in July 1992. Director Lam became the director of the Hong Kong Observatory in March 2003. He was said to promote a family friendly workspace for employees encouraged employees to go home on time and organized activities where the family of employees could also participate. In 2006, Typhoon Prapirun hit Hong Kong. The observatory did not hoist a typhoon signal number 8. Some criticized this decision as being against the usual practice of the observatory, while an astronomer criticized the observatory's warning system saying that the observatory should also have taken into account the wind speed of the new territories and outlying islands. The office of the ombudsman received 140 complaints. Some even urged him to resign. Lamb defended the decision but altered the typhoon warning system. In July 2007, Lamb fell from a horse in Mongolia and was seriously injured. He received a brain operation in September. In July 2008, another incident occurred and he had to be hospitalized for a week. Soon after, Typhoon Nuri hit Hong Kong. The observatory was criticized for hoisting a typhoon signal number 8, which some considered unnecessary, and hoisting it too late. 18. There was also confusion regarding the Chinese word which Lam later explained. Lam denied that the observatory had underestimated the strength of the typhoon. In response to claims that typhoon signal number 8, Lam stated that at least two people had been killed by the typhoon. He also stated that Hong Kong had been incredibly lucky that the destructive power of the typhoon was not as strong as predicted. Lam turned 60 in 2009. After six years as the director, he retired. His pre-retirement leave started on 6 April, and his successor, Li Boon Ying, was appointed 8 May. He said that he would not do any work for pay after retirement, but would continue to accept invitations to share his ideas. Retired Life
In January 2010, Lam criticized the government in his blog 21, for endorsing the building of houses in Long Valley by influential people using the name of diversified development. As a result, a legislator wrote to Carrie Lam seeking explanation. Carrie Lam ordered the planning department to contact him. On 4 February, Lam sent his position paper to departments of the Development Bureau as a resident, detailing arguments for the preservation of the valley and raising questions about the government being soft on influential people. Carrie Lam dismissed it as absurd while the department implied that at least 20 out of 80 hectares of the valley were used for building. Lam also hosted the radio television Hong Kong Channel 1 show Sentient Beings from July 3, 2010 to 25 December of the same year. He is also an honorary fellow of the University of Hong Kong and lectures at the Geography and Resource Management Department of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. In November 2010, Lam, criticized the government's policy to cut classes in his blog. As the president of the King's College Old Boys Association, he wrote that the government was cutting back the opportunity for upward social mobility of students from grassroots families. Michael Soon, the Secretary for Education replied that the chances would not be reduced as the total number of students were on a decreasing trend. Conservation Lamb had been a skeptic of man-made climate change until 2001, when he read the third assessment report about global warming from IPCC Publishings. In 2009, Lamb, along with noted singer and environmental activist Lowell Lowe, hosted a documentary about global warming, for Road Show. Since retirement, Lam has given talks about the climate. As of August 2010, Lam has given 130 talks and 40 interviews. In 2013, Lam spoke out strongly against proposals to use country park land for housing.